weather with the KX Storm Team. And good morning. It is 617. You know, while parts of the world may be uh, coming to a standstill or moving slow, migration patterns are still continuing and uh, going at full force. And, and Lori sent this picture in from Lake Sakakawea. And these were some geese just migrating. She said this is uh, geese right here in the picture as well. Gorgeous photo over the lake from yesterday. Uh, thank you, Lori, for that photo. I love getting your photos. So still continue to send them in and we'll show them here on Good Day Dakota. So here's the satellite and the radar. Uh, some rain down towards South. South Dakota, we're dry. We do have some cloud cover here for parts of South Central and Southeast North Dakota. And in those clouds, we do have a little bit of fog, especially uh, in the Hedinger and Linton areas this morning. But our temperatures are in the 20s and 30s. We're at 30 in Stanley and right now 31 in Elgin, 32 now in Harvey and wind speeds are from the southwest around 5 to 10 miles per hour. What will happen today is we've got a very weak cold front that's moving in from the northwest and so that's actually going to shift our winds once they uh, that cold front moves in the winds will shift and become northwesterly. So if you have a northwesterly breeze later on today, you know the cold fronts move through. It's not going to do anything really to our temperatures. It won't give us any rain. It's an incredibly weak front here. Temperatures feeling, your Cartiva Mina wind chills feeling like teens and 20s out there with that light wind. Here's my forecast for the day today. Sunshine and 50s. So we are looking at a very warm day with many temperatures reaching into the low to mid 50s this afternoon. Any cloud cover we have right now will decrease today as well. We'll decrease even as early as a few hours from now. But highs for uh, around the region, more specifically for you, as you can see, around 50 for Botno and into Crosby. We're going to hit those mid 50s in Bismarck and into Minot. Uh, looking pretty warm for today and we'll keep the warm forecast for the weekend. Really the only thing that's going to change for us is just kind of the amount of cloud cover that you could see from a system to the south of us. We'll keep it cloudy and, and kind of rainy for some through the weekend in South Dakota, but we're really not going to see much rain from that system, if any at all. We're just going to see cloud cover uh, moving right back in this evening from this system to the south of us. And notice that it will impact some of us in South Central and Eastern North Dakota through Saturday. A better chance for sun in Minot, Williston, and Dickinson through the day on Saturday, but we're all warming up. Both days will be warm at back to the 50s, in fact, back to the mid to upper 50s on Sunday. But here are your forecast highs on Saturday. Kind of a mirror image of today. Maybe slightly cooler off towards the southeast, but we'll keep the thicker cloud cover around Ashley and around uh, the Med Medina area there. And then once we get into Sunday, we'll see uh, those clouds push out of here and we're back into the upper 50s for a lot of us. And that's going to be the case in Dickinson, upper 50s there, as well as into Williston. This is an area I think could hit 60 on Sunday. But here are your Sunday highs. 50s again mid to upper 50s there off towards the west pretty warm for us to end the weekend and we continue to warm for the beginning of next week here's your minot seven day forecast back to those 60s but there is a cool down a colder air influence and chances for some rain and yes some snow because we will have some colder overnight lows they're not high chances at this point. Here's the Bismarck seven day and, and, and once again we are cooling down. We're all going to feel cooler temperatures next week and I think Josh that these cooler temperatures will more than likely carry into the next weekend. These cooler temperatures keep in mind are still pretty seasonable. Right now our average highs are in the low to mid 40s so we're looking good when we hit the 60s. All right thanks Amber. Keep it with us here on Good Day Dakota still to come.